What's going on YouTube? So today I'm uh, showing off my Nintendo Switch collection, but I've got a special guest, my amazing girlfriend, Maria. Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, first I'm going to show off the controllers. Um, I've only got the black Nintendo Switch, but Maria's got the light blue uh, Switch Lite, which I bought her for a birthday a few years ago, and she absolutely loves it. Is it my 20 second? Yes, 20 yes. second, yeah. So um, starting off, we just got the standard black pro controller it's it's just like the xbox controller you can't go wrong because the xbox controller is so good um next we got the espion controller which i think was an aldi exclusive i could be wrong um but my mum actually bought it for me for my birthday last year i think it was yeah last, last year, year yeah um so and then this controller these are all the sealed controllers that i've got because they're just too nice to open the Legend of Zelda is the next one. And then that's the actual controller. Would you like to show off the four you've bought me? Um, <laughs> yes. So each of my, well, one of my birthdays and each of the Christmases, Maria bought me uh, four Pokemon controllers because I absolutely love Pokemon. So there you go. I don't really know which one this one is. But uh, it's the been... Pikachu versus Mewtwo one. Do you want me to? Yes, please. So. That one? That one was for all my birthday, wasn't it? That was a Christmas one, I think. Oh, okay. The Pokeball. Uh, it's the Great Ball. It's the Great Ball, even. <laughs> yeah, close. don't worry, it's fine. So, she's not as big as a Pokemon fan as me. No, it's but... the Pokeball I want to get. Yes, yeah. I do want the Pokeball one. Ultra? And then Ultra Ball, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she knows, she knows. She has been pl playing Pokemon Violet. Uh, Violet. I played so... a bit of Shield. Yeah, and you played uh, Pearl. Oh, yes. Yeah. I've got Diamond as well. Yeah. This is my favourite controller. This Pokemon Sword one? Yeah. Oh, this sword, yes. Yeah, Pokemon Sword. <laughs> I need the Shield one too. Wink, wink. <laughs> and the Pokeball. <laughs> yes, yes. So, those are all my controllers. As you can see, I've got quite a few sealed, but that's because they are so nice. I, I don't want to ruin them, you know? Um, I, I've got, you know, I'm going to keep them in the collection for, you know, until, well, eternity, because she bought them for me. Yes. Um, but starting on, we're just going to go in random order, because I didn't alphabeticalize my Switch games. Half are upstairs, half are in the gaming room. So um, we've got them all down here, so we're just going to go through them one by one. Uh, if we both played them, we'll both give a, uh, our opinions on them. If I've only played them, I'll just say what I think of them. And But a lot of these, we've either played, like... Or watched each other play. Yeah, or watched each other play. So uh, starting off with Pokemon Sword. I personally loved it. It was really good. Um, and you played Shield? I played Shield. Yeah, so Maria plays Shield. They're basically the same game at this point, um, aren't they? So yeah. just two different gems, and I think there's something else different. You know, the exclusive Pokemon, obviously. But Sword, great. I'd rate it a 10 out of 10, honestly. I I thought it was maybe the best Pokemon since um, Platinum, myself. But I don't really like the 3DS Pokemon games. That's just me. Um... So moving on, we've got Bioshock the Collection. So mm. I've played all three of these on the Xbox, and I love them, personally. The atmosphere, you know, would you kindly. Uh, it's just amazing, you know? So I, I like them. I, I'd rate Bioshock an easy... Bioshock 1, 9 out of 10. Uh, Bioshock 2, an 8 out of 10, and it wasn't as good. And then Bioshock Infinite. I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, a lot of people love to hate it, but I still give it an 8.5 out of 10. So that's that. Um, Borderlands, the Legendary Collection. So I haven't played this on Switch, but I have played Borderlands 1 and 2 a hundred times on the Xbox because they're just fantastic games. Both easy 10 out of 10s. And Handsome Jack is one of the best video game villains of all time. Do not at me on that. The pre-sequel isn't as good, let's be honest, but it's still better than Borderlands 3, which is absolute dog. <laughs> Uh, sorry if, if you like Borderlands 3, <laughs> but, um, uh, one of my favourite games. Uh, I'm currently doing a Let's Play, as you may know, City Skylines. So, um, I'm doing the Let's Play on Xbox, but I have played quite a lot of it on Switch. It's not as good as the Xbox version, or probably the PlayStation version, which I haven't got. But, it's City Skylines, and I love it. So, easy 10 out of 10. And I know the Switch version is a bit laggy, but the OLED's probably better so it's probably better on the oled but as i said i don't have the oled and the games are tipping 
Um, Crash Bandicoot next. Insane trilogy. So, you know, I've played, played the OGs on the PS1. I've played it on Xbox. I haven't really, you know, I've got two copies of this. Um, this is actually Maria's original copy. <laughs> yeah. um, but I did, uh, you know, she didn't really enjoy it, so... Did it you? wasn't, like, the same as the Xbox. No, it's not the same as the OG ones or the yeah. Xbox port. It's different um, on the Switch. I haven't played it, so I can't rate it. So what would you rate it? I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Okay. What would you give it on the Xbox? 10 out of 10. Okay. They, they have it. <laughs> Xbox version is superior. Um, and probably the PlayStation version too, because they're probably the same ports. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Now, this game is good. <laughs> I love this game. Um, I don't, I, you know, I haven't really seen anyone's opinions on it. But, it, you know, it, it feels like Donkey Kong Country. 10 out of 10. It's so good. It does look quite fun as well. Yeah, it is very fun. <laughs> Maria hasn't played it. So. I've watched him play it. <laughs> Dragon Quest. Uh... 11, I think. Echoes of Exclusive Age. Um, so I played it quite a bit on um, Xbox. Xbox, yeah. Um, I played it a little bit on Switch. I kind of gutted I opened it, to be honest, because it was on Game Pass, like, the next week. Of course it was. <laughs> Game Pass has everything these days. Game but Pass does. I, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. I prefer the old Dragon Quest. Uh, yeah, Dragon Quest. Dragon yeah, Quest. Dragon Quest games. So, yeah. Um, here's a great one that I that is a 10 out of 10. 51 worldwide games. And you might be thinking, really? Really? 55 worldwide <laughs> games? It's got chess. It's got chess. That's what we played. So, um, you know, it's got other games too, but it's got <laughs> chess. I mainly bought it to play chess on the Switch. But, um, you know, if you've got somebody over, and you know, it's just the two of you, a game of chess if you don't have a chess board, which I do not for some reason. I've, I've lost it. Um, but yeah, I've got chess on like every system I own. So. I've got a lot for the PS2. Yes. <laughs> um, Animal Crossing. So I love New Horizons. It, it was such a fun game to play. And I played it during the first lockdown in 2020. Um, I'd rate it 10 out of 10. And I know you've played quite a lot. Of I've it. done about 70 hours worth of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's more than me. And I had it way before. Um, so I think I've only put in about 55. So what would you rate it? I'd give it a solid 10 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do love the original, but this just beats it. It does. <laughs> um, okay, Pokemon Shield. So we've both played that. As I said, I give Pokemon Sword a 10 out of 10. I do the same with Shield. Um, I actually did an Ash catch and run. So I only used Pokemon that Ash actually caught during the, you know, the anime. Um, and that was really fun. So I enjoyed that on this one. But on my other one, I completed the Pokedex and everything. So... What would you give it? Because you played I, 15 hours of it. I didn't play that much of it. Yeah, 15 hours. 15, 16. Yeah. It was quite fun, so I'd probably say 8, 9. Yeah. So, um, Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. So, this includes Black Flag and Rogue, two of my favourite Assassin's Creed games. Uh, instant 10 out of 10. It's not as good quality on the Switch. Um, you know, I, both, mm. I played them both on Xbox. I've played a bit of Assassin's Creed Black, Black Flag on um switch but i haven't finished it because there's just i've got around 70 games so there's no point uh maria hasn't played it if you were wondering <laughs> brilliant diamond uh i don't care about the hate it looks like the legend of zelda um which one is it linked links awakening remake and i love it um you know turtwig is the best starter <laughs> don't at me um, 10 out of 10, honestly. I, I know it's not as good as Sword, Shield, or the new one, Scarlet and Violet, and, you know, before anyone goes, yes, they do have their issues. Um, and I do have the double pack for Scarlet and Violet. So but, do I. <laughs> yeah, we both do, but, um, it's in my cabinet at the moment, and I didn't really want to dig around for it. Um, so next is the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, remake. Um, I gotta be honest, it's not as good as the original. Um, I give it a seven, and, but I I played played the original as a kid so much. I've got it in mint condition. Um, Red Rescue Team that is, uh, for the Game Boy Advanced. And um, yeah, I just don't like that one as much. But it is it is the better version. I just don't know. I I think it's just childhood nostalgia with that one. Uh, okay, so this is what a one Maria bought. This is mine. I've never played it, but she didn't like it. So, Roller Coaster 
Tycoon Adventures. So, do you want to say a little bit about that? Well, I bought it because I love roller coaster games. I think roller coaster tycoons are OG. Mm, yeah. I loved, so I thought it's going to be a similar thing. I was wrong. My God, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, if she says it's bad, I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> <laughs> so, Super Mario Odyssey. Now, I might get some hate for this one as well, controversial opinion, but I'm not fussed on it. I've only played the first uh, maybe two hours. Three hours and, most of it. Yeah. And I haven't really touched it in two, three years. So, yeah, I'm not going to rate it because I haven't played enough of it to rate it. But it is in my collection, so I can finish it anytime. So, this is one that I'm giving it an easy 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's 3D All Stars. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy was like one of my favourite Wii games growing up. And Sunshine's amazing, oh, and 64 is a classic, so that's all I can really say. Uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate. Not the biggest Smash Bros. fan, but, uh, you know, it's great. Everyone loves it, doesn't they? Um, so I haven't done much of it. I've played a few battles against my friends before the pandemic and all that. But yeah, I'm not going to rate it because I haven't played enough of it to rate it. And Maria hasn't either. No. Um, oh. Super Mario 3D World. Fantastic. Great game. Um, I think this was ported from the Wii U, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, from that. So. Yeah. So, I've played quite a bit of it. I'd say 9 out of 10. I I like the um, 2D Marios, but the, and then it goes into 3D, doesn't it? So, it's, uh, it's an odd one, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's a good game. <laughs> I don't really remember it, because I played it so long ago, but I did enjoy it. Um... God, this is controversial opinion on the Switch day. Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. I couldn't get into it, I'll be honest. I love open world games, and I love The Legend of Zelda. Um, Wind Waker is probably my favourite, and um, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate. The 2D ones on Switch were my favourite of all time, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. But um, also Majora's Mask and um, the other one on Nintendo 64. My mind's going blank, I should remember it, but... I, I don't, um, and I hate myself for that. Uh, but Breath of the Wild, I can't rate because I've only put about 10 hours into it, and every time I just, I'm just, i just like, what am I doing? What am I supposed to be doing? Give me, like, tell me what to do, game. Like, I'm just walking around aimlessly for ages, and that's just, nah. Not my thing. Uh, Pokemon Legend Arceus. So, I will say this is great. You know, graphics are okay. Um, I give it an 8 out of 10, but I haven't finished it. Uh, I need to buy it. I picked Cyndaquil because Cyndaquil is my favourite Pokemon ever. And you should. I really should. It's, it's a great game. Um, Sonic Forces. So Maria got me this game for one of my birthdays. Uh, Christmas. Christmas, okay. I think. Um, I played a few levels, haven't finished it. Obviously, as you know, I've got over 3,000 games. Finishing games is a challenge for me. Um, Which is what you're doing this year. Yes, the, the 50 game challenge. I'm mainly posting that on TikTok at the moment. But uh, once I get my computer fixed, it's 12th of January, by the way. Um, I don't know <laughs> when this is going up. But when I get my computer fixed, it's a hard drive failure. So it's pretty bad. Um, and I thought it was my caption card. So Maru actually bought me an Elgato game capture. Yeah. So she's amazing. And now my dog is coming. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Hi, Abs. Um... But yeah, uh, once I get that fixed, it will. I'm gonna stream uh, Gears of War and record it for YouTube. Um, Marvel Gears of War Five. Should I say I played all the other Gears of War? I haven't played Five. Uh, Marvels, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, and lots of other games. I'm currently playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the campaign, on um, just on the easiest difficulty because I'm only completing these games. I'm not 100 percent in them or whatever. But that's what I'm doing currently for the 50 game challenge. My progress is three out of 50. So pretty good for 12 days in. Uh, but yeah, if you'd like to follow me along on TikTok, it's SamPhoenix1, uh, SamPhoenix un underscore one. So yeah, uh, same profile picture. So y you'll you'll see my ugly face. Um, <laughs> the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is next. So uh, I loved it, loved it, finished it. Um, and I love the, uh, the style, the like um, art style of it, I think. This is probably one of my favourite remakes, and that might get some hate. But this one, 10 out of 10, easy. I know it's not perfect, but neither was the original. So, you know, 
Uh, probably, <clears throat> maybe my third favourite Zelda game. Fourth favourite, maybe. I don't know. I'd have to do a Zelda ranking. You so, should. Yeah, I should. Uh, Wargroove. I haven't played it. Not pro Probably not going to play it. Got it for like £4 in um, game. So it's free for two. Yeah, the free for two. So a lot of the games um, that I buy and like just buy for the sake of buying are in the free for two deal that, you know, if I don't pick it up, for like it's the same price as the other two I'm picking up, uh, you know, I'm getting it for free basically so it can just sit on the shelf and I'm okay with that. So, Add to the collection. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stardew Valley. Oh. 10 out of 10 instantly. It's one of my favourite games of all time. It's actually in my top 10. So, and Maria has a bit to say on this. <laughs> because we both play it together quite a lot. So. Well, we play it on Xbox. Yeah, really. we play it on Xbox. I don't have it for Switch yet. Yeah. So. But it's such an amazing game. We even got the board game as well. Yes. Now, oh, the board game is, is so good. Amazing. I'd recommend it. If, if you... If you were just starting to get into board games, like me, um, it's a perfect starting board game because it's quite easy to understand. Yes. So I found it quite easy anyway, so... Yeah, it's really easy to just yeah. follow along, so uh, like the game And you can, well. you can set the amount of time you want to play on a game because you, you don't have to put in all the cards. There's like standard cards. Yeah, so if you just, play the game, you yeah. know it's every day is a new day and it's the same with the, the board game. Yeah. So it's really great. I highly recommend the board game. It's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Lego Jurassic World. I played played like two minutes of it, so it's in my fifty game challenge. So I will be finished. Like I will be doing it. So um, it's either this version or the Wii version, the Wii U version even. So I don't know which one yet. So Wii U maybe. Yeah, I I don't I haven't played many games on the Wii U, and I play the Switch quite a lot because of Pokemon and stuff. <laughs> so Marvel Lego Marvel Super Heroes Two. I've completed it on the Xbox. I couldn't. I'm not fussed. Um, as you as you probably know, uh, if you've seen my other videos, I'm not that fussed on Marvel. I love Marvel. Yeah. So I should. Oh, I like the movies. That. I like the movies. Don't get me wrong. Um, just the games for you, isn't it? No, it's not just the games. No. You know, it, you know, it's a bit oversaturated now. All the TV shows. I like Hawkeye. Oh, I love Hawkeye. I um, love Hawkeye in general. But the rest of the shows, they weren't up to scratch. And yeah, that's you know that's just my opinion. If you loved them, that's fine. You know, but uh, not for me. Too, too much content, you know, I, I'd happily go to the cinema and watch each movie. We're going to see Ant-Man and the Wasp when it comes yes. out in May. May, June? Something like Something that. Something like that. In the next couple of months, anyway. We will be going. Yeah, because Ant-Man's great and Paul Rudd is great. Paul Rudd is amazing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3 is the next one. Uh, you know, I played the original. Um, I played a bit of this, but I haven't finished it, but I haven't finished the original. Um, I can't really rate it. I can, though. I'd take, give it a 7. Well, have you played it? I've watched my brother play it. Oh, so. okay. So, there you go. So, Maria give it, gives it a 7. Yes. Um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Oh. So, easy 10 out of 10. Probably the fourth best Mario Kart game I've played. And I say that saying um, the Wii version is first, Double Dash is second, and um, the DS version is third because uh, that's what I had as a kid. Um... But that, you know, most people might not think the DS version is any good, but, you I know, nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> Minecraft. Oh. So, I have put thousands of hours into Minecraft, and so have you. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> but you're way ahead of me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I've been playing since the day, the day it came out on Xbox, 360, so that's a long time ago. 2019. What? No, way for before me, 2019. For me. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, I I got her into it, but uh, the you know the Switch version is just the same as the Xbox or PlayStation version, so it's, I love it's a Switch ten out of ten. Version. It's my second favorite game of all time. And I can play with you on the Xbox when I'm on my yeah, Switch. Yeah, I know we, we did that the other year. Last year I think yeah. it was. Mm. So, uh, next is Monopoly for the Switch. Uh, so we like playing Monopoly together, don't we? Yes. Um, she actually bought me Supernatural Monopoly for any Supernatural fans that might be watching this. I saw and I was like, that is cool. Yeah, so I only just watched it last year because Maria recommended it to me. Um, and maybe th one of the best shows I've ever seen. I mean, I think only Stargate and Star Trek top it. And, um, yeah, Deep Space Nine, I should say, say and Stargate SG-1 specifically top it. But if I had to pick, it would be third or fourth. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Orville above, I don't know. I love the Orville. 
I think that's one of the best modern science fiction things ever, like yeah, in the past so 20 funny, years. The yeah. And she doesn't even like science fiction. So if she enjoys it. And I'm it, enjoying it. Then you know it's good. <laughs> um, Super Mario Bros. U. Um, new Super Mario Bros. U. So I played quite a bit of this. I, I suck at it. I haven't finished it. Cause I need I to try it. <laughs> um, I, I'd give it a 9 out of 10 because it's just old fashioned. Great <laughs> game. You know, it's, it's Mario. Uh, so let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. We're going to do these together because I played Pikachu, she I played Eevee. Eevee. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you rate it? I'd give it a 10. I should probably. Yeah, um, it's Eevee. So I, I'd give it a, a 7 only because the capture mechanics are <laughs> tedious and it was quite annoying to get the, the Pokedex finished, but I did it. Well, this was a birthday present. Well, might win anyway. Yeah, yeah. So this is my coffee, but she's got. I've a coffee got a coffee too. myself. Um. So yeah, this is just my collection. This is Maria's collection as well. So, uh, Paper Mario: The Origami King. Uh, Maria got this one for me. Um, off Facebook Marketplace for ten pound. It's it was a really good deal. It was a bargain. Um, I haven't played it yet because it was only two months ago, three months ago. Uh, it's just not that long ago. Mm. Um, another one Maria got for me. Uh, on top. <laughs> Is Poyo Poyo Tetris. So one of my mates recommended me this because he absolutely loves it. But she only paid uh fourteen ninety nine for it. And if you uh know Super Tomato, it's a shop in Cardiff. It's, you know for retro gaming and stuff. They also sell modern games, but not many. Uh, this was literally the only Switch game they had at the time, I think. Yeah, it was the only one. Um, but yeah, great shop. Um, yeah. So if if you're ever in Cardiff, we don't live in Cardiff, but when we were there, we, we, we go up there. like every week so often. Yeah, anyway. yeah. So that's that. Um. So I'm gonna do. Um, oh, where's the other one? For uh, this? Was it the one? Oh, you it was. It? Yeah. It was so as I was saying about the free for two, um, these were the other two games. Um, I think. Uh, no, we did two lots of it. If you remember. Oh yeah, yeah. No, these weren't the other two games. Sorry about that. Um, it was a weird one. That's not here. Hold on. Uh, so these are the last couple of open games we've got. Um, the rest are sealed, but I know it was open because it was secondhand from game. So um, Ministry of Broadcast, that looks pretty cool. I do want to play that. That's why I bought it. But I didn't buy this one to play. I just bought it because it was in the free for two. And I can't even pronounce that. Can you pronounce that? Bal uh, Balan Wonderworld? Yeah, I think. there you go. Um, okay. I can't read those, but they're in the collection anyway. Uh, oh, this is the other this one. This is the other one I got. Um, this was ten pounds as well. Uh, Lego Incredibles. Um, I'm not a Disney fan, so I I can't rate it. But for the price, yeah. it was well worth it. Exactly. Um, I I don't know what it's called, but we are missing one game. I think it's in it. the cabinet with something else. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't with know what the, it's called. The violet. Oh yeah. So I do have Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in the dual pack, but I just have Scarlet down here. And um, my cabinet is literally packed from back to front with yeah. games. So That's it was a bit fun. hard for me to go digging around in it. All the controllers were on a shelf uh, out in the open, so that's why we brought them all down. And all these sealed games were just behind my door because I'm running out of room that badly. <laughs> so these sealed games, we can't rate them, but we're just going to show you. Uh, do you want to do a few? Ooh. Do you want to start that side? Do one each? Okay. So Okay, I'll start. Yeah. Um, so Big Farmer, this cost me four pound in game. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, you, go. you go next. That's Sonic Colors Ultimate, is it? Yeah. This yeah. looks really cool. So I paid twenty four pound for that. Um, in on Black Friday last year, not last year, the year before even. I can't remember. Can't be it was twenty twenty three. Yeah, <laughs> it was a while ago. I, it was the year it came out, and it was already on sale like a week after it came out, so it was really cheap. Uh, Maria got me this, but I already had it on Xbox, so I wanted to keep it sealed. Um, Sega Mega Drive Classics Collection, and I've got most of them on the Mega Drive anyway, so... It just looked really cool. Yeah, it is really cool. Uh, I mean, you know, it's a great gift. I love the Mega Drive, but I, you know, I didn't want to open it. And, you know, it's probably <laughs> going to be worth quite a bit if I keep it sealed. So, your turn. This is a game I've actually played. Spyro. Amazing on the Switch. I would rate it an 8 out of 10, but I just love Spyro in general, so no look. Okay, um, Pikmin 3 is the next one. It's, uh, you know, 
I haven't played it, so I can't really say. Um, I've played Pikmin 1 or 2. They're great. But um, I'm sure Pikmin 3 is too, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And if I do decide to play it, I'm going to just buy another copy because I think it's only about £15 now. Ah, Go on. I think this is a game for you. Subnautica yes. and yeah. it's a double pack, isn't it? Yeah. Below zero. So I actually paid £30 for that. And um, I've got them both on Xbox. And I've got Subnautica on PlayStation as well. So I don't really need to open it. If I really did want to open it, I would. But, um, you know, it's come down to about £30 second hand now anyway. So I really think I'd just buy another copy. <laughs> so, um, oh, this one is open. Uh, Sign More and X. Um, I paid like £3 for this in-game. Around the same time I bought the other one that was really cheap. I haven't played it. Ooh, Super Mario Maker 2. I mean looks fun yeah i mean it's not for me but it's for, you know it's for people um project high rise architect edition oh that looks good Fun. yeah super mario party she wants to buy that for herself but i need the switch yeah not the switch light which i have but yes. i need the one that connects to so, the tv i am open this because apparently it's rubbish and you know you can't buy it brand new anymore, so if I really wanted to buy it and play it, I'll buy a second-hand copy. Uh, moving out. So you've played this, haven't you? Do you want to review it? My copy. Is it? <laughs> I gave it to you. So yeah, quite a few of these. Uh, Maria buying a Switch game and then not wanting it five weeks later, so she just chucks it at me. So be it adds it to the Xbox. collection. Yeah. I didn't like it on Xbox. And... Mm. Can do Crash. Crash Nitro Field. I don't actually have this game, I don't think. But oh, I should really get it, and it looks so fun. It is. It's good. I've got it on Xbox. Uh, Metroid Dread. So, um, it's funny. Uh, I was in Tesco's with my mum, and I saw it, and it was like £10 off. So, I was like, oh my god, I really want that. And she was like, oh, we'll get it. And I was like, oh, I can't afford it right now. So, she bought it for me, so that's, that was kind of her. <laughs> so, and I haven't actually played it, so... Whoops. <laughs> uh, I will get around to it one day, but right now, um, oh, I should do that one as well. Right now, um, I'm trying to do other games. Uh, so this is a sealed copy of Paper Mario. So I had this when it first came out, um, and I just hadn't got around to it. So I paid full price for it. And then Maria goes and finds those two games from the same person, both for £10 each. And... Uh, and now you can play it. And now I can play it and keep the other copy sealed. And you know, a Switch game for a £10, even if you already have it, is a bargain. It is. And I don't think, you know, a Mario game is going to go below £10. So if you see one for £10, buy it, is my suggestion. If you have the money, obviously. If you don't have the money, don't do it. <laughs> um, a Contra? Uh, Contra of a Uh So, yeah, I'm playing it sealed. As I said, all these games are sealed. Uh, do you want to do that? Yeah. So, yeah. Yoshi's, oh, is it Crafted World? I think there's a game similar on the Wii U, isn't there? Yes. I love the one on the Wii U, so I think I will actually go out and buy this one just to give it a go. She should, because I, I, I can play it. <laughs> <laughs> and I can keep my copy sealed. That's how it um, works. <laughs> so if you haven't realised now, we're just picking from the pile um, of which ones we want to say something about. Uh, new Pokemon Snap. Um, another one my mum bought me, uh, but this time it was for my birthday. Um, yeah, I just haven't, haven't played it. I, I, I play the original one, I'll be honest. The N64 version is amazing, and I have actually got two copies of that. I've got one unboxed copy and then one mint inbox copy. And uh, if you know me, you know I'm not an N64 inbox collector, but when it is a game I absolutely adore, um, like um, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, I've got that mint inbox as well. Uh, I get it mint in box because, you know, I'm not buying it to resell. I'm buying it to have it on display. But sadly, if you could probably tell by the size of this room, <laughs> we can barely fit the settee in here. It's just uh, I should probably say sofa. <laughs> sofa in here. Um, and, um, you know, I've got, I've got two massive cabinets full of systems and one's just on its side. If you've seen the collection tour on TikTok, um, it's free in three parts, you'll know what I mean. If you haven't, you should go watch it. Uh, thank you for the <laughs> shameless plug there. 
Uh, your turn. This game I've actually played. Little friends, dogs and cats. Get dogs and cats. It reminds me of Nintendogs for the DS. And Nintendogs is brilliant. It's elite. Yeah, I love Nintendogs. And I was playing this for ages, recommended it to Sam. And I bought it and I haven't opened it. <laughs> of course. Um, but honestly, with the Switch, if I buy a game for it and I don't plug it in straight away like Pokemon, my copy of Violet's sealed because I haven't played it yet. You can only um, play mine. Yeah, Like, exactly. I can play Scarlet. Yeah, so we don't have to open them, because we've both got the same copies. This is why we open the opposite copies. Um, we always get them on release days, don't yeah, we, as well? Yeah, and we play them together, day one. Um, well, that's what we've been doing that's... the last two. Anyway. Yeah. So, um, you know, if I'm going to play it eventually, I check the price, I see if I can get it for cheap, and if I can, I'll just buy another copy. But... Or I give it my copy. Yes, but that's like that's all that happens because I haven't been fussed on playing um, the Switch unless it's Pokemon recently because I've been playing uh, the PS4 mostly, and obviously Xbox is my main system. So uh, my turn, yeah. I think so. Uh, so Skyward Sword HD, Legend of Zelda. Um, you know, I I don't even know if I played the original to be honest. Um, I I do have it. But I can't remember playing it, so I don't think I have. And I'd rather play the original first and then go to the remaster just to compare. So if I ever do go back to the original, I'm not thinking, God, the remaster is so much better. But yeah, you go. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Yeah. This Tokyo 2020. This looks really fun. Ooh, skateboarding. <laughs> skateboarding in the Olympics, who would have guessed? I get distracted easily. I'm gonna buy those. Yeah. So obviously it's sealed. And Most of these are. Switch. So we can't really say much about them. We can't. Uh, brilliant pill. Mar Maria I've been playing this so, one. Do you want to say? I quite enjoyed this one. I yeah, think. I mean I played Diamond, so it's. I think my starter similar. was Pippa. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so, I have uh, beaten you every time we burst each other. It's, it's true. Just because I, I picked her twig, and her twig is the best. Um. <laughs> Oh, so this one I got on Black Friday. Actually, I should probably I'll probably just do these two. Yeah. Both on Black Friday this year. Well, 2022, last year, technically. So these two games I do intend to play soon, especially Kirby. Um, but right now I'm not on the Switch phase. I'm on well, mainly I said Xbox and PS4. I'm on my Switch phase. So. <laughs> <laughs> Going to do the next one. I think I actually got Sam this one. Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I just thought it's a Mario game. And Mario is great. Mario is great. Whether it's good or not is a whole other question. Yeah, exactly. So, <coughs> yeah. Um, so a game I bought Black Friday a few years ago is Survival List. I actually got this in Smith's for six ninety nine. I remember that day. Yeah. I bought it for all three systems. I bought it for the Xbox One and the PS4. And, and the Switch. And the Switch. <laughs> And the PS4 and Xbox versions were both four ninety nine each, or five pounds exactly. Five pound, I think. Yeah, they they don't do ninety nines with the games, do they? But no, they, no. It wasn't Smiths. It was Smiths. All three of them at the same oh, time. Oh, I'm thinking of someone else. And the woman looked at me like I was crazy. I am. I'm thinking of the Escapists. Yes, yeah, the Escapists. We bought that um, <laughs> differently, but that was the same day. Yes. So. Um, she comes shopping with me every time I do uh, a big haul because um, checking the lists on my phone. It's my job. Got, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> There's so many lists. Yeah. Oh my god. For every system. Some of them are even full lists of games I don't even like have, but like with text next. It's to them. worth it to it know is. where we are. <laughs> yeah, and to know if the lists are in the game, then uh, something by my eye. Right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that. And this video is filmed in a one shot, so, and it, you know, it's just us talking. It's not supposed to be super professional or anyone goes, so there are going to be us making mistakes in it and saying dumb stuff. But, you know, that's that's just what it is. Yes. So we've only got four games left, and um, yeah. So do you want to go? Yes. Captain Toad. <laughs> And Treasure Tracker. So that's on the Wii U, I'm pretty sure. There is a Captain Toad game. Hmm. Whether it's the Treasure Tracker. Oh, it is. Yeah, oh, I did the Wii, Wii U Nintendo. list. Uh, I did the Wii U collection tour. Have I played on the Wii U? You're probably watching this a few days apart, but I did this. I did the Wii U collection tour yesterday as well as my handheld tour. 
but Maria wasn't here at the time, so it was quite hard for me to do it on my own. So, okay. but yeah, uh, another one Maria got me, uh, Star Wars um, Racer and Republic Commando. Great games for the, well, just fantastic games. OG Xbox for Republic Commando and, you know, um, N64 for Star Wars Episode One Racer. Fantastic games, both 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Uh, and those are the original. I don't know if this is just a direct port or a like a remaster. Um, she bought it for me for this Christmas, so it was only uh, fifteen days ago or something. No, about just, twenty just days over ago. Over fifteen. So yeah, I I haven't gotten around to it yet. I haven't even turned on my Switch in the past like two weeks. So must be more PS4 with you. Yeah, there? yeah. I've been playing God of War. If you've fallen along on my TikTok, um, which one do you want to do? Do you want to do them? I'll do this one. At me. Mm -hmm. It's Immortals Phoenix Rise Home. This was was it, this was this a cheap one or was no, it just? No. Uh, I think my mum did buy that one for me as well oh, yeah, for she... Christmas. Uh, I don't know, but she do? she messaged Maria because she doesn't like buying me games because like if she doesn't know I have them. In case she buys like yeah, because uh, obviously I've got so many. It's but, hard to um, keep up, um, but sorry. <laughs> yeah, Maria Maria checked my lists cons conspicuously. And, um, yeah, I didn't have that one, so, was, you know, it's for the collection, I tell her. <laughs> Any game's for the collection, even if I keep it sealed, it's still another game for the collection. But how I do it, I text you asking for three kinds of consoles. Yeah, so, so I don't know, won't know. What, what I'm getting. <laughs> so. um, but she always does about three different systems for me every yeah. time. <laughs> and then the last and final game for the Switch collection is a game I got from Game. Um, I paid... Eight ninety nine for this one, because um, I remember it quite well. Ace um, Air Com Complex Collection. So I was about to say Ace Combat, but it's not Ace Combat, is it? Um, Secret Wars and Pacific Carrier. Um, the only reason I bought this is because it looked like Ace Combat, <laughs> like old old fashioned Ace Combat. It does look cool. Like uh, you know World War Two style. And Battle Stations Pacific is a game I'm playing right now, and it's fantastic. I played Battle Stations Midway. So, excuse me, so much. Um, and it's just great, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's that's the Switch collection. Uh, I think it's about 80 games in, in total. Six six remotes. Uh, no, seven remotes. Uh, two, two open, five sealed. Um, hopefully, uh, I can do another collection tour uh, next year or something, and the collection will grow. But for now... Um, I've had my, my guest on here, Maria. <laughs> Thanks for joining us and being a part of the video. Thank you. So she is a part of my TikToks normally. Yes. Um, <laughs> but this is the first, her first appearance on my YouTube channel. So yeah, if you, if you liked, um, please f give it a like and uh, comment your favourite Switch game. I'd love to know. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Hi guys, and welcome back to the Switch Collection. So, um, I found the rest of the games. Um, there was a lot more than one missing. I couldn't believe it. Um, but another one I couldn't find. It's just the steel, like, the, the special case. It's for Pokemon Arceus Legends. Um, I, it was actually a Christmas gift from Maria. Um, she's not here right now, so I'm just doing it on my own quickly. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know where the steel case is gone. Uh, my, you know... My cupboard's a mess right now. I need to sort it out. But I've also got the steel books for Sword and Shield. This one's sealed, this one isn't. I wish I kept them both sealed, because, you know, there's not really a point. But I couldn't get the double pack, so I settled with both steel. And I like to have all the Pokemons, because Pokemon is one of my favourite franchises. Uh, the Scarlet and Violet double pack. Um, Oh, it's in here. Okay, I, I put it in here just so the the case for the thing wouldn't get ruined. So there's the Pokemon Arceus steel case, and um, Violet's still in there as well as the steel case for the two games. Um, the Will game. I thought it was a Willow, but it was a Will, a wonderful world. I, it was in the free for two as I said. I don't, you know, that's why I bought it. Um, so here's one that, um, my mum got me from B&M. Oh no, Home Bargains, Home Bargains. Uh, it's just the download code. I've kept the case just in case I, I find 
a game that needs a case and I can just get a cover for it then one day. So it's always good to have some spare cases, I think. Uh, so I got three more games, tennis aces that I got um, in December. Uh, the residue from CEX stickers are horrible. And then two sealed ones, um, Darksiders 2, Definitive Edition, one I got from Amazon, and Splatoon 2. So, those two. And then we we got, uh, Maria got me both of these, both the Asterix and Obelix games. Uh, I should have kept that sealed, uh, like, uh, you know, special edition. I, I do, you know, the statues are cool. But um, I should, should have got, I should get another one soon before I can't get them anymore. But yeah, awesome bits for the collection. And then the last game is Singstar Queen. Now, I, I went to Smith's when this was on sale to pick it up. I literally like took time out of my day just to go get this. I'm not even going to bother opening it. I mean, Queen is probably one of my favourite bands, but, uh, <laughs> you know. I've got all the I've got the all the old sing stars for PS2, so yeah. And then lastly, um, this was one of my Christmas presents from Maria as well. Um, camera's a bit tilted, but oh well. Uh, it's it's just a carry case for Switch games. I thought that's really cool. Um, You've probably seen it in my handheld collection, to be honest, uh, but I wanted to show it off again because I just like it so much. But yeah, um, thank you for watching the uh, Nintendo Switch collection video. Um, yeah, uh, stay tuned for more collection and gaming content. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. See ya.